Hi, I'm Dr. Srikant Reddy. I'm a surgical oncologist and uh, this is Dr. Nisha. She's a radiation oncologist. Uh, all of you know, uh, radiation therapy is one of the most important treatment modality in cancer treatment. Uh, but most of the patients are scared about the treatment because uh, they use like current therapy and shock therapy. So Nisha will help us understand today what is radiation therapy and uh, she will tell us the process of radiation therapy. So Nisha, what is actually radiation therapy? So like you said, uh, Shikant, uh, radiation is one of the important pillars of cancer therapy and people are scared because less is known about it and you know in fact several of my patients when they come to me they say that you know is it current therapy are you going to give us shock so that's a kind of uh, you know belief uh, or the fear for radiation therapy Radi radiotherapy is nothing but uh, strong x-rays the normal x-rays that we use for ct scans or the chest x-rays those x-rays are converted into mega volt or stronger power and then that is delivered into the body in a very focused manner to kill the cancer cells and that's it it's a painless procedure okay nice so uh, imagine a patient comes to your opd uh, someone refers or they come directly to you mm -hmm. so what do you do in the opd so when a patient comes to my opd uh, i evaluate the patient overall as well as disease specific and then we chart out a plan as to you know how to treat treat the patient where to treat how many radiation is to be delivered what is the dose what is the technique to be used and this all depends upon what is the disease where is the disease you know what are the biological characteristics depending upon that we just make an individualized plan for the patient okay so now take us to the next step how you're going to plan for radiation therapy so once we decide to take a patient for treatment we would be making an immobilization device any form of immobilization either we use something called as a mask or an all fit or we can use a blue bag or we can simply you know use a laser marking to make sure that we are able to reproduce the way the patient is lying every day on the machine for the treatment as well as you know during the simulation so this is a head and neck mask that we have made for a head and neck cancer patient. This is a cast, a pelvic cast that we have made for a cervix patient and this is how we make the patient to lie down in the same position. Once this is made with this immobilization device on, we will be taking a scan which will be going into the treatment planning system. How long will you take to do this mold? So usually typically for such an outfit we take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes because this first goes in the water and takes the shape of the patient's body contours and then it takes some time for it to cool down and then form the you know the more solidified version so of it. So molding and CT scan will be done on the same day? Yes, usually we do it like that. Once the treatment planning scan is taken, it is shifted to the treatment planning system and then the doctor marks the structures that needs to be treated and the structures that needs to be saved. Once that is done, the doctors and physicists sit, sit together and they generate a plan that makes sure that maximum dose is delivered to the structures of interest or the desired area or the tumorous area while there is minimal dose to the adjoining structures. This plan is then shifted onto the machine and this is the plan which will be executed on the patient as well. So Nisha, uh, we are done with your OPD evaluation. You decided what uh, kind of uh, treatment you want to give, the dose, the planning has been done. So how are you going to deliver the treatment overall? Okay. So once our patient comes for the treatment, he or she will lie down on this machine. This is a couch of that machine and this machine we call as linear accelerator and there is a gantry which rotates around the patient will never touch the patient at any point of time and through this the x-rays are delivered as per the plan uh, now this particular the patient now the patient will be lying down in the exact same position that we had used during the simulation process and will be using all the immobilization devices like for example the orphit or whatever we had used during the simulation that will be put on the patient here as well so that it's an exact replica of the planning time 
and then the delivery happens. Just before the treatment, we take a low dose CT scan and then superimpose it with the treatment planning scan to make sure that everything is exactly reproduced and you know we are delivering what we have planned and then the delivery takes place. During the delivery, we are continuously monitoring the patient from outside through the cameras that is there in the room. How long does uh, this uh, delivery of radiation take place for each case? Now that depends upon the plan we are generating and which area we are treating. So we can say anywhere from 5 minutes to you know 20 to 30 minutes is in general. There can be outliers but yeah that is the amount of time we take to treat a patient. And it's going to be absolutely painless. Absolutely painless. That's the take home, take yes. home point. No anesthesia, no knife, no needles. It's going to be a real painless process. So in a gist, this is how your radiation therapy process is going to be. So your doctor examines and ana analyzes your uh, all records and then uh, she decides the treatment plan, a scan will be taken and once the treatment delivery is designed, then you will be brought to this room and uh, using this machine, your radiation therapy will be given in a painless fashion. I hope you are not scared about radiation anymore. And uh, in case you want to reach out to us, you know, you have any questions, please feel free to put your questions in the comment box. Thank you and bye-bye. Thank you.